Thank you. Uh, so I'm Josh Good. I'm with Click. Uh, I'm a director of product marketing at Click. I've been with Click for six years. So I'm going to talk to you about data-driven possibilities in a post-fact world. We'll talk about the impact of the post-fact world that I'm claiming we're in. You can disagree with me or not. I have a lot of facts to prove that we are in a post-fact <laughs> world. And then we'll move into you know um, how we uncover these data-driven possibilities. Uh, product update. We'll talk about cloud, um, and uh, then we'll talk get into where the future takes us, and that will lead us right into some NDA stuff as well. We were founded in Sweden in 1993. We've been around quite a while. We have 43,000 customers, and we've been growing very rapidly despite being quite a large vendor at this point. And we're now private. Um, and so the first thing that I want to say is don't panic. Going private has been an awesome thing for us. You know, we've accelerated some of our existing strategies around cloud, um, and also we're continuing to acquire technologies as um, as needed and where they what they fold in and tuck into our portfolio. Despite going through all of that through 2016, we still exceeded the, the market guidance that we had uh, posted at the beginning of the year, and we succeeded our profit guidance as well. So what's happening right now in technology? So our relationship with BI has really changed over the, the past several years. A huge amount of external data has come in. The centricity of the analytics has changed to be much more user focused and much more, you know, you can bring things right onto your iPad, onto your, onto your desktop. Um, and who the champions are who are driving these uh, has changed quite a bit. It's become much more a business driven conversation. The business is driving where the analytics come out. That's where the data discovery has really driven out of. And it's actually even getting down to like personal analytics now. And then we've seen a change, uh, which was interesting from stacks to best in breed, and now we're seeing analytic platforms. And the difference was stacks where you had to pile them one on top of another in a certain order. Best in breed was, you know, you grabbed whatever you needed. And, and now analytic platforms are true integrations between multiple platforms to build unique analytic solutions for organizations. So we're seeing a huge change, but at the same time, something else really interesting is happening. And we're entering possibly a post-fact <laughs> era. And, and it's, it's kind of, in some ways, a result of having this huge amount of analytics capability. I think the interesting thing, though, is, is, is there's so many facts out there today, and there's so much information that people don't feel connected to them in the same way. People don't trust them intuitively. People trust what they see, and people trust their gut. So analytics needs to be personal. It needs to tell your personal story. It needs to reflect your personal reality um, and if it doesn't, then y you won't, you'll ignore it. You ultimately, or, or our customers, or, or our you know, clients, clients, they need to decide how they're going to trust data, whose data they're going to trust, whose data they're not going to trust, and what processes, rules, conventions they're going to put around that. Um, what we really believe strongly at Click is, you know, is about collective human intelligence. So you got to bring the people together to do these things. The way to do this, the way to give, give it data to the people is we need to move from the business intelligence pond to the endless sea of data-driven possibilities. And what this is about is about delivering analytics to people in ways that they're receptive to it and where they already are. We've divided up the possibilities into five categories that are relatively well known in, in, from, from traditional business intelligence and pushing beyond that. Without any bounds around this, I think the pendulum swung to you know, let the business users do whatever they want. Chaos. And, and it's not about restricting what the business can do, it's about everybody playing by the rules of the road. So it's about having flexibility and having scale uh, and, and trust. The big difference here is we have an associative engine, we don't have a query tool. The journey to 100,000 registrants, that's been really great. And from the marketing perspective, I'm really excited. But the real interesting story is our cost per active user has had a 10 time reduction over 12 months. So now we have a multi-tenant infrastructure that's truly a multi-tenant infrastructure. And it, it not only that, it runs on a microservices architecture. And that's why we could do that. The thing here is that we have a cloud infrastructure we can invest on. We didn't just say, hey, we have cloud because we took our on-premise software and put it in the cloud. We actually built a modern analytics cloud solution running on modern technology. So when we think of our, our future strategy, we think about data, we talk about analytics, data, cloud, and then we have the underlying platform around that. And what we think about in Click is we say we gotta bring all, the, all your data with all your people and all your ideas have to come together. So we have to figure out how to do that. We don't wanna leave any data behind. We can't leave any users behind or any people behind. We think at Click we have a really unique opportunity around people, data, and ideas. Um, and it's all about moving beyond this like BI pond is what we're really 
moving toward. You know, we will not be able to do everything for everybody, so how do we enable everybody to do everything they can do?